Number 60, calculate the concentration of all solute species in each of the following solutions of acids or bases. Assume that the ionization of water can be neglected and show that the change in the initial concentrations can be neglected. And then we have letter A. Okay, so we basically just have to find out all the concentrations of everything that's being produced in this solution of 0.0092 molarity HClO, uh, which is a weak acid. Okay, so the first thing is, is that if you're trying to find out concentrations, they gave us a concentration of a weak acid, we're going to have to be using Ka values. Ka means uh, acid, right? Ionization constant of acid. And remember, Ka's are based off of balanced equations. So the first thing I have to do is I have to give an equation for this. Now, there's a trick with acids. There's two ways that you could write an acid formula. You can say that HClO plus water gives the two products, right? Or with acids, all you have to do is just break off one of the hydrogens. In this case, there's only one hydrogen. So basically you can just say that HClO maybe is in equilibrium because it's a weak acid, so I gotta write that, with H plus and ClO minus. Now you can only do this trick with bases. Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. You can only do this trick with acids. With bases, you have to write out plus water or else you won't get the right balanced equation. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to, or we basically have to find out the equilibrium concentrations because that's what they wanna solve for. When they're saying find the concentrations of all the solutes, they're talking about equilibrium. So we have to find out the equilibrium concentration. This amount that they gave us, that was a starting, initial. They're saying, okay, we initially started with 0 0.0092 molarity HClO. So I need an ice table. We've seen these before um, in chapter 13 when we did equilibrium. So it's the same exact idea here. ICE, and maybe what I'll do so I'm just going to move this over to this side because we have some math going on. And I'll do the math over here. So we started off with 0 0.0092 molarity of HClO. So that has to be the I, right? I stands for initial. And maybe, uh, I guess I'll, sorry guys, kind of want to give you what these mean. So I stands for initial. So I'm starting with 0 0.0092 for HClO. Now, did they say that I started off with any H plus or ClO minus? No. So zero and zero. Now C stands for change. The change in concentration from initial to equilibrium. Well, I don't know that. So we label it as a variable. Pick any variable, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Yada, 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 but we like to use X. <laughs> Anyone is fine, though. Remember, you can only go up from nothing, right? So since we started off with nothing, these have to be plus, and this has to be minus. And I'll say minus X, and plus X, and plus X. Now remember, these go by what the coefficients are, but with acid-base reactions, it's going to be a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio, so you don't even have to worry about, you know, minus 2x or anything like that. It's just going to be minus x and plus x. The E stands for equilibrium, so maybe I'll just hi highlight it like that, and it's just the initial with the change. So this would be 0 0.0092 minus x, 0 plus x is just x, and 0 plus x is just x. Okay, now, they did say in the instructions that we needed to show the change in the initial concentration can be neglected. So the change in the initial concentration, that's this guy over here, this minus x. So basically, if you have a really, really small Ka value, that means at the end of the day, you didn't really change much. You're favoring the reactants. And if you started with all reactants and you're going to end with mostly reactants, this minus X value can be neglected. It basically just means it doesn't really make a difference whether we include that or not. 
So as far as math, we don't include this value, the minus x. However, we have to keep these because then we wouldn't have a variable. So we always just get rid of the change in the initial. Now we have all of our equilibrium values here. And I pulled the Ka value from the back of the, the textbook. So we're going to be able to solve for x. So let's see. Ka equals, remember it's products divided by reactants, right? And with these, all charged um, ions are always aqueous. So maybe I'll just write that out. This is aqueous and this is aqueous. And all acids, weak acids, weak bases, strong acids, strong bases, those are aqueous as well. So the Ka would be, I have two products. So it's always products divided by reactants. So in this case, it would be H plus times ClO minus divided by HClO. Ka is the 2.9 times 10 to the negative eighth. So 2.9 times 10 to the negative eighth equals basically we have x times x divided by 0 0.0092, right? 0092. We could cross multiply, right? So it would be this times this would equal x times x is x squared. So x squared, I have two x's, equals, calc's out, 2.9 times 10 to the negative eighth, 2.9 times 10 to the negative eighth times 0 0.0092. And I'm not going to round because this is not the answer yet. So 2.668 times 10 to the negative 10th. I want to just solve for x, so I'm just going to do the square root on both sides. That will get rid of this squared. So I have x equals, square root that. And now, since we're solving for concentrations, we'll do two sig figs, because that's what we started with here. So it would be um, one, 1. 1.6, Actually, yeah, 1.6. So 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, so let's list what concentrations of all the solute species we have. So maybe we will start here. The H plus concentration that we had, which was X, is the same as the HClO, or actually not the HClO, just the ClO minus, right? They were both X. And since X was 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth, that's what this is, and that's what this is, since they're both X. So I have 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity for both of them. Okay, so that's two of your answers. So that takes care of the products. And maybe I'll box this off a little bit. I won't color the whole thing in. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So we got rid of these guys. Check and check. Now, when you're actually trying to find the equilibrium concentration for HClO, you actually do the minus. So it would be 0 0.0092 minus X. We just assume that this is small for calculation purposes, but it still exists. So for HClO, this would be 0 0.0092 minus X, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. So let's see what we get. That's the next one. HClO equals 0 0.0092 minus 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. And I get zero point, I mean, it's basically the same, but if you wanna actually show the, without the sig figs, it's just a little less, 9.9184, 0 0.00984 molarity. So that's another answer. That's, we have all three of these, so check for that. 
And now the only one that we don't have is the solute that does not show up when you're talking about acids. We got to use the KW formula. If you have H+, plus, you secretly have OH-. minus. So from your H+, plus, you can find the OH- minus solute, right, concentration. So just pause the video if you need to. I'm just going to get rid of this because I will... Uh, I need the space to just find out what the OH minus concentration is. But actually, let me just, actually, this might be easier if I just pull this up here. Here we go. And then maybe I will add this to the bunch. Get rid of this. Get rid of this and connect them. Ooh, yeah. But I won't connect them until I finished with the OH minus. Okay. So now. Kw equals H plus times OH minus. Kw, remember, is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. This, you'll probably have to memorize. Your teacher or professor will give you that, right? And if we have H plus and we want to solve for OH minus, we'll just rearrange this formula, right? Kw divided by the H plus would equal the OH minus. Okay, so now let's see. Something divided by something equals OH minus 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by the H plus, which was the 1.6. 1 1.6 1 .6 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. And that looks good to me. We'll say maybe 6.3. So OH minus, so we'll tack that on here. OH minus equals 6.3 times 10 to the negative 10th molarity. And now those are all of your solutes. The concentration of your solutes at equilibrium. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let me know in the comments. This is letter A, so hang tight because letter B is coming right up. And I will talk to you all then. Okay, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.